Our intent is to make it as easy to perform manipulation tasks with Spot in much the same way that Spot has already made it easy to locomote through complex environments. The arm we developed includes six degrees of freedom in addition to a gripper. The overall length of the arm is approximately one meter and when combined with the mobility of the base robot, results in a system that can flexibly access all of the environment around the robot. Finally, we've included both an imaging depth sensor and a 4K RGB camera in its gripper, making it possible to see objects that the robot is manipulating and perform inspection tasks. This initial release of the arm will ship with two primary modes for controlling it. You can use the tablet to directly teleoperate the arm to perform one-off inspection or manipulation tasks. Out of the box, both of these interfaces provide access to basic kinematic control of the arm, as well as a suite of more complex behaviors which incorporate supervised autonomy. We've been experimenting with mobile manipulation since our early days, working on robots like Big Dog. Everyone has seen stationary robot arms of many sizes and speeds designed to do all sorts of tasks, but we have yet to see really capable and successful mobile robotic arms. This video, which dates to 2013, shows Big Dog using its entire body in concert with a high-performance arm to throw a cinder block roughly five meters. So, throwing cinder blocks is fun, but Spot can also have some fun with its arm. Here we see three Spot robots playing together. This jump rope behavior you see here serves to demonstrate both the capability of the robot and arm hardware, as well as the software suite that controls and coordinates them. While jumping rope may not be particularly relevant in an industrial setting, we hope you can appreciate the capability that a quirky and fun scene like this demonstrates. Based on discussions with early users, it is clear to us that the main themes that make Spot valuable to applications in construction, utilities, oil and gas, and manufacturing are equally relevant when we think about mobile manipulation. This makes us very eager to deliver mobile manipulation capabilities that build on our experience in advanced mobility, autonomy, and control. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now back to the video. Just when you thought that a $130 million price tag for a smart home equivalent to something tech billionaires like Bill Gates or Elon Musk would live in was too far out of reach to be a goal, let alone owning a three-bedroom house while struggling to pay the mortgage and strata fees or rent on your condo apartment. Well, robotic engineers and the Ori Living Company have found yet another way to use automation to maximize our living spaces with robot automated furniture that would allow the transformation of one bedroom residential flats into multi-purpose spaces. The furniture is adjustable like a transformer, automated and adaptable, which allows a change of space at the click of a button. A bedroom can be converted into an office space, living room, or dining room at a click of a button, or even a simple voice command from your smartphone. 
Who needs a nine-figure smart home when you can have a smart flat? Now, all that is really missing to fully automate the apartment suite would be a humanoid robot to cook dinner and take out the trash. Pushing for the advancement of human-like robots with artificial intelligent brains to walk among us, of course, like some sort of dramatized sci-fi, which living in the present day isn't really far off from reality. Visiting OriLiving.com and doing more research on their robot automated furniture, I should mention this video isn't sponsored. I'm just a fan of everything automated, technology, and robotics. And visiting the website, it turns out you can get in touch with the development sales team at Ori and installation could cost anywhere between 5 and 10,000 US dollars. Though currently, the company sells its devices only to apartment developers who then rent out the furnished apartments. The company says the spaces can be as little as 350 square feet, so they can cost renters less per month without sacrificing function. Currently on OriLiving.com, there are about 45 apartment rentals across the United States, ranging from $1,400 a month up to $6,000 depending on what neighborhood and state each apartment location has. Ori Living says they improve developer economics to provide apartments that feel, live, and rent larger. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. Hanson Robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human-robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. So the robots are designed to look very human-like, like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. I feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas. An ambassador who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable of natural facial expressions. She has cameras in her eyes uh, and algorithms which allow her to see faces so she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So this will allow her to get smarter over time. Her goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person and cannot yet do these things. I do believe that there will be a time where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans.